Good morning, you're just in time for breakfast. I'm going to grill up some uh, venison back straps on uh, kebabs and uh, get a quick breakfast in before I get on to some fishing later on in the day. And I think if you're cool, I might take you fishing with me. Are you cool? I think you're cool. Yeah, you're cool, you can come fishing with me. But let's make your breakfast first. Now that breakfast was awesome. Venison backstrap kebabs. It was a couple days ago we made that. The weather got real bad right after uh, we had that breakfast. I think the weather got up to 100 degrees. It was so hot. I just stayed in the office and worked. Made marketing videos for our clients. It was just too hot to get out on the water. So I'm back out in the water finally. It's been a few days like I said. And uh, I'm back at the scene of my frustration of the last video. I came out here and got s snagged up so many different times that uh, it was extremely frustrating and I shared that with you in the last video. But I'm right back out in the same place, but today I'm using the Whopper Plopper. And uh, we'll see what kind of uh, success we can get with that. I brought some other, uh, I brought some Helgramites and some Texas rigs, but the bait I have isn't weighted and it's just floating on the top and I need to uh, get some bullet weights. I didn't bring any out with me. So I'm stuck with the Whopper Plopper today. We'll see how it goes. Oh no. Got a tree. 
See, that's another problem with fishing in the river here, is that you have to be really accurate with your casts. I'm not. I am not. Every time I have to uh, fix a snag like that, it takes me right into the zone where the fish are and it ruins my chances. Boy, this river fishing takes a lot more skill than uh, fishing in the lakes. Just no comparison between the two. It's like the difference between Little League and the Big Leagues. But I shall learn. I shall improve my casting accuracy. What kind of bird is that? It's the next day now. I didn't catch anything on the river yesterday. I didn't even learn anything because it was my casting wasn't there. And also I brought the wrong setup for the, the Texas rig I was going to do. I didn't learn anything. Long story short. Uh, I'm at a different place today. I got my attractive wife fishing slash fishing partner. We're at a pond today. My uh, kids came here yesterday, our kids came here yesterday and did some advanced scouting and had a really good day fishing. So we said, well, that sounds like a great opportunity to get the lawn chairs out, to get our rod holders out and do some old fashioned fishing. That's right. Relaxing, no kayaks, <laughs> no paddling. It was a little bit of a walk to get back here, but not, not too bad. Enough uh, where we're not expecting a lot of company around the pond. Mm -hmm. uh, the game plan is simple. We brought worms, night crawlers, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to try to catch a little bluegill and then we're going to uh, use those bluegill for bait to catch some uh, catfish or big bass and hopefully uh, very minimal turtles. I hope no turtles. Yeah, but there's turtles <laughs> there's here too. Turtles. There's always turtles in ponds. And they like, uh, they like what we're fishing with, so hopefully we won't catch any. All right, so uh, no challenges today, just relaxing? Just relaxing fishing. All right, let's do some fishing. All right. All right. All right. Got to catch a little bluegill so we can use it for bait. Easy enough. Gotcha. Hey, I can go get one of the All right. Now we can now we can fish for real. Oh. 
how are we gonna rig this up? I don't have a lot of experience using live bait. That seems like it might work. There we go. Let's see if that does the trick. So far nothing on the bluegill or the night crawler. We move spots. See if that helps. Let's start fishing the worm again. You want to switch to a worm to a oh, I can't use this. bass pretty little guy I guess you don't use a night crawler and I think this is a red ear a sunfish did you hook him no he did that himself. oh he hooked him oh right to the head well there you go that I'll do the trick. And any big fish that live in here know there's little ones through here. A little better one. I think I'll upgrade my, my bait too. The bass down there. See if he'll eat a worm. That'd be a negatory. Can you guys see that? Can you see that bass? Oh, that's a monster for this. He's a monster. And he don't like worms. He's looking for bluegill. He's hunting the gill. The big bass is in hunting, chasing the gill. I bet you I can get him with this. There he is. right on top of him. Well, he is chasing, they're chasing the gill. And I think I'm gonna get him. Got him. Got him. Got him. I brought a net. Yeah! What a beast! Look at him! I'm not gonna keep him, I'll put him back. You're lucky, dude. I'm tired of bass tacos. Look at him. Hey, right, I don't even know where the gill is. Gosh! Look at this bad boy. There you go, he's fine. He's fine. We're outdoors for a change. Thanks for watching.